Hello, my name is Maggie McHugh. I'm a rising junior at the University of Cincinnati. I'm studying human development and community engagement. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to talk today at the virtual Rebuilding Your Wellness Symposium. I learned about the Recovery Center of Hamilton County this last spring and got the chance to meet everyone there, take some classes, and learn more about the mission of the Recovery Center. Today, I'm going to talk about what I'm studying at the University of Cincinnati, how wellness and community engagement are interconnected, and most importantly, um, resources that you can access in the Cincinnati area and um, how, how I'm sharing those resources with you today. In my program, we are learning about how to create a more holistic approach to human services. In particular, an approach that focuses on the individual and how communities can support in people in seeking out their specific needs. One of the fantastic things about the Recovery Center of Hamilton County is that people are agents and advocates for their mental health. Picking classes is a collaborative task that becomes an individualized support system. People get to choose classes like writing, art, or support groups based on their personal needs and passions. My specific field of research and interest focuses on the individual. The most meaningful and impactful change occurs when an individual is the driver of their recovery or their path of seeking out resources. The role that is necessary in making resources more accessible uh, is held within communities. The, um, often resources are allocated to a select few due to barriers preventing people from accessing them or even being aware of them. The more communities work together to share resources, the communities can create systems of interdependence and foster spaces of personal growth and support. In the same way that people should have more liberty in accessing resources on an individual level, communities are the same way. Needs and services in Cincinnati are specific to Cincinnati and the people that live there. The programs that function well in Philadelphia or Detroit are not guaranteed to work in Southwest Ohio. The needs of the community are specific to the individual, specific to the community, and the services need to be created by the people that know the community and know the people receiving the services or people being given the space to create resources that they need themselves. That is why the Recovery Center of Hamilton County is able to function so well and create an inclusive community space. The Recovery Center is created by people who live in the Cincinnati area, run by people who know what types of services need to be created and create spaces for people to share resources. In that sentiment, I personally cannot know exactly what resources would be best for each individual at the Recovery Center of Hamilton County because needs are a person by person thing. So today I compiled a myriad of resources based on the eight sectors of wellness and sought out specific post COVID resources as well. I'm gonna talk about the eight sectors of wellness, what types of resources I've included in the links um, based on those eight sectors of wellness and how to access those links and resources. Um, the eight sectors of wellness are physical, emotional, social, intellectual, environmental, spiritual, vocational, and financial. Um, included in the physical wellness links, I've one of the benefits of um, living in a post-COVID world is that things like doctors and therapists can be accessed online virtually and in any space as long as you can access the internet. So I've included links to virtual doctors that have hotlines 24 seven for appointments or to talk to. I've also included spaces within Cincinnati for people seeking out um, support post-sexual violence. Um, and I've also included food security resources like food banks, pantries, um, where to find those and what times those can be accessed. Um, for emotional wellness, it is in the same um, line as physical wellness that there are now online resources like therapists and doctors that you can call anytime. I've also included a few hotlines um, for specific needs. Um, for social wellness, uh, this one's kind of fun and uh, based on the classes and what I've seen at the Recovery Center of Hamilton County. Notice that art is a great outlet that people have been enjoying there and writing as well. So I've included links specifically 
for um, communities of artists in the Cincinnati area, as well as writing spaces and um, a link that includes writing events going on in the Cincinnati area. I've also included a link to um, a hotline for a one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversation with people that know community spaces within Cincinnati and you can talk to them about your interests and your needs and they can help align you. So say you're a photographer, they can help find you photography spaces. Um, or say you like bowling, they can maybe help you find a bowling community. Um, for intellectual wellness, I've included links for adult education. Additionally, um, ways you can get cert certificates online. Um, a lot of classes can be taken online and accessed through that and you can work on um, also specific training for jobs um, if that is how you are intellectually fulfilled. Um, for environmental wellness, I've taken this in two senses of the word. I've included links to community gardens in Cincinnati and I've also included links for things like childcare and your personal environment um, and taking care of that is a big part of emotional wellness and physical wellness as well. Um, so links like childcare, links like housing um, are included as well. For spiritual wellness, uh, this kind of goes in line with the social wellness as well. Um, the, the hotline for um, talking to people in the community, um, if you are religious, they can help you find a church. If wellness, a spiritual wellness comes in the form of expressing yourself through art or other things, um, they can help you find that. Vocational, uh, again, job listings. There are resources for um, re-entering the work field. A lot of people um, in this post-COVID world are taking up um, different types of jobs or switching or starting or re-entering the job field. And there's things like outlines of best ways to do that uh, or how to do an interview, things like that um, that maybe you haven't done in a while or um, you just need additional support in, uh, in writing your resume and there are links for that in the reemployment section as well as uh, job search and job listings in the area um, and, and trainings as well like the certificates mentioned in the intellectual portion. Um, for financial wellness, again, this is housing um, for crisis situations. Uh, there's even specifics for if you are pregnant and looking for crisis situation housing or legal aid is included as well, eviction resources, utility resources, and just in general um, resources in the Cincinnati area for um, housing and financial stability. Um, now all these links I've compiled into a link tree, um, which is just a list of with a descriptor of what the link is um, and it will directly take you to the websites or the programs that are described. Uh, this can be done by typing in this URL into the search bar. It is https colon forward slash forward slash l-i-n-k tr dot e e forward slash Hamilton County resources. Um, I've shared this link with Amanda and um, you can drop it in the chat as well. Um, and it's not exclusive to Hamilton County, but it is the greater Cincinnati area and also some national resources. Um, again, thank you so much for giving me the time and space to talk to you all today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My email is McHugh, M-C-H-U-G-H-M-T at mail, M-A-I-L dot U-C dot E-D-U. Um, I'd be happy to talk to you if you are looking for more resources or have more resources you'd like to share to that list. Um, or have more questions about um, human development and community engagement or your time at Hamilton County, I'd be happy to talk to any of you. Um, Amanda also has my uh, email and the again, the link to the link tree and I'd be happy to talk to any of you 
or if you just want to reach out and ask about a specific link, um, I'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you again so much for giving me the time and space. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoy the virtual wellness symposium.